welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as PPCSA that is a privacy preserving cloud storage auditing scheme for data sharing before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. Basically, in this project, the authors have proposed that in the existing system, they have used sanitizable signature to hide the sensitive information. But the problem of using this is like it may cause unauthorized access to the data in the cloud since anyone can access the data in the cloud to the server. So to overcome this unauthorized access, so in this article, they have proposed the PPCSA scheme where only authorized user can access the data and also they have introduced the auditing scheme. So let me show you the system model or architecture of the project which has the entities data owner, user, cloud server, KGC that is key generation survey, serve center, sanitizer and TPA. So let me show you the execution of the project now. This project is developed in Java using NetBeans 8.2. So let me first load the project into the NetBeans. So click file and open project and select the source code location. And then click open project. So kindly wait till the project is loaded into the NetBeans and also make sure that you added the database MySQL database in the MySQL and before executing the project kindly turn off your firewall or antivirus if you are having. So I am having an antivirus so let me turn off this antivirus because the keys will be sent through email. So this antivirus will be blocking your key sending process. So you may not receive the keys in the emails. So first let me turn off this antivirus. So let me turn off temporarily for a few. Now come back to the NetBeans, you can see the project is maximum loaded. So just click the project and then make a right click and then click run. So this is the home screen and welcome screen of the project with the project title PPCSA Privacy Preserving Cloud Storage Auditing Scheme for Data Sharing and the abstract that is mentioned in the base paper. And here you can see the entities, data owner, user, sanitizer, KGC, TPA and cloud. So first let me go to the data owner part. So as I am a new data owner, so let me register by clicking the registration part. This is the data owner registration part. So let me register with the name JP Infotech, email ID. phone number address and password and then click sign up so now you can see the registration is success and click ok so now come to the login part of the data owner so here you can see the data owner login you can see the email id the password and the private key So currently you don't have the private key to log in. So first go to the KGC, the key generation center and log in with the KGC credentials and click login. The login has success and click OK. And here in the data owners, you can see the data owner which I have registered now that is data owner id j2 that is jp infotech with the email id address and status which is waiting now so only after the 
KGC has approved this they can able to so you can see this the first part that is the KGC should approve using the private key so go to the generate key option and then click action so now you can see it has been approved and and so let me log out from the data owner from this uh, key generation center part now go to the data owner part so in the data owner part you can go to your you can check your email now you have received an email now say data owner registration has been approved and the private key is so you can just copy this key you can enter the details for the login there is the private key and then click login now the login is success for the data owner click ok so this is the welcome screen of the data owner with the data owner name and here you can see the option of upload file my files audit proof downloaded files and logout so let me go to the upload file so here you can see in the upload file option you can see the file keyword select an access member select file and preview file so first let me up create a new file so let me go to the d drive and create a new file say ppcsa sorry ppcsa and paste this content here now let me enter the file keyword say ppcsa and let me select the access members now so let me select the access member called uh, principal so let me select the file from the d drive which i have created now and here you can preview the file content which is we have selected and now you can upload the file by clicking upload so before uploading as we are using a cloud project so the the file should be uploaded in the cloud so for that purpose we have used drive hq cloud service provider where you can upload the files in the cloud for the free of cost so we are using this api for uploading the files in the cloud so this is the drive hq home page so let me show you that part also so first click upload So now you can see the file is uploaded successfully and click OK. Now go to my files part. So here you can see in the my files, what are the files that, uh, that this data owner has uploaded. So this is the file ID, file name, the decryption key, what are the access member and uploaded date and time. And they can, if you wanted, you can send an audit request. Let me show you that part later now. So first let me check. Now it has been confirmed that that file has been uploaded in the local host. Let me check with the cloud part. So just make a quick login to the drive HQ part. So now you here in the drive HQ after logging you can see the new file that is ppcsa. You can see the created date and time that is 10 5 2021. 12 18 this is you can see the time here if you wanted if you click the file so the contents the file is been encrypted because we cannot able to save the plain contents so now it has been confirmed that the files have been uploaded to the drive hq so let me log out sign out from this part it is made sure that file has been uploaded in the cloud part that is drive hq part now coming back here let me make a audit request before uh, modifying any of the contents in the file so just click click request so the now request has been sent so in the audit proof part you can see it is empty because still now there is no any response from the audit so let me log out from this part so go to the tpa part now tpa 
TPA login with the credentials TPA and TPA and then log in as access. Now this is the welcome screen of the TPA that is the party auditor. Here you can see the auditing request. So click audit, auditing request. So here you can see the data owner who has made the auditing request now. So you can see this is waiting stage. So click verify. So here you can see the file name, the hash code of it and verified hash code of it and click verify. So here you can see the hash files matches. So file is safe and unchanged. So we know that the file has been uploaded now only. So there no, there is not been changed anything. So we log out this part, go to the data owner part to show you that. So after login with the data owner part, go to the audit proof. Here you can see as the TPA has approved the things, you can view this auditing proof thing. So here you can see the file file ID, file name, request a date and time with the hash code and click verify. So here you can see the file is safe and unchanged. So the data owner gets the auditing part. Now let me log out from data owner part. Let me go to the user part now. So I'll be creating a new user now by clicking register. So user register. So create a new user register with the name of Jay Prakash with some other different email ID now. So let me select the role as principal now. And then click sign up. Now the registration is success and click OK. Now go to the user login part with the registered email ID. And then click login. And this is the welcome screen of the data user part. And here you can see the option of access file, requested file, download file. So let me click access file now. So in the access file, you can see the files that have been given access to this role that is the principal role in case if the role is not selected during the uh, data data one uploading file process here the file will not be shown so here you can see now as i have uploaded the ppcsa file with the access of principal here the file is being shown so if this user role wanted this file they can click request so here you can see the request has been sent and in requested file you can see the requested file status is waiting you cannot be able to download still the data owner has approved this one so let me log out from this part and go to the data owner part now let me go to the uh, sanitizer part click login this is the welcome screen of the sanitizer part here you can see the data one of files which are available with the access member policy with their file name up to the date and time and here you can see the option of requested files so here you can see the requested files option here you can see the option that we have requested that is the username Jay Prakash has requested for the file name PPCSEA the requested date and time and it has been waiting stage so once if, if you wanted to approve one you can click approve or if you want to reject you can reject it so let me click approve part so now you can see the file has been approved and here you can see the approved has been updated and let me log out now go to the data user part and click login so go to the requested file part here you can see the status is being approved and click download now in the download file option it asks for the secret key in case if you give some random key it will not be downloaded you can show that it is incorrect key values so just go to your email and check the key has been received or not so here you can see the file name and the secret key to access the file and enter the secret key and click download and here you can see the file content 
and first let me download and show you to the desktop part and here you can see the file content now. now in case if you wanted to modify this content you can click modify part so now the data user is modifying the content so let me click update and now log out so this update process i am show showing you because to show you the file data auditing so first initially i have shown the data auditing part where the file is not changed and so it is safe now let me let now let us show you the part where the, the file is changed so let me go to the data owner part to give a request for auditing request so you can go to the audit proof now again you can click verify the same file name and if you click verify here you can see incorrect hash values the file has been modified by others so now the data owner can able to know the details of the file which is modified or not through this auditing scheme and in downloaded file you can see who was the downloaded the file name with the data was username downloaded date and time the file name the file id and let me click log out now let me create uh, some different user the username let me create some different user say ajit now let me select the role as uh, student now and click sign up now in the user login let me enter the the details that we have registered now and click login and now go to the access file so here you can see the file that we created ppcsa is not accessible to this user role student because we have the data owner has selected the access policy only to the role principal so in this way the privacy of the scheme is being maintained and let me log out and we have seen the data owner part user part sanitizer part kgc part tpa part now at last we'll go for the cloud part so this is the welcome screen of the cloud server so here you can see the cloud files so what are the files that are available with the file id name and access members and uploaded date and time so here you can see the ppcsa is uh, accessible to only to the principal role and uh, the this test.txt was the file that we have shown you right now is it was accessible to the student professor and the principal all the three roles this file mobile.txt is accessible only to the professor and the principal role and in requested files you can see what are the files that have been requested by the users and date and time and what is the status of it and final we'll see the graph part so this is a dynamic graph where uh, average encryption time and decryption time is being shown here so this varies according to the file that you're uploading and downloading and once if you wanted to save these results you can also save it So the chart analysis has been exported now as a picture now you can see this and in this way you can be able to show you the analysis part and this is all about the project ppcsa a privacy preserving cloud storage auditing scheme for data sharing and thank you for watching